So today I decided to try a prototype design for a dust boot for my M1000. It's um, the reason I'm doing this is because there's a uh, compatibility um, limitation with the current dust boot that doesn't allow you to use um, the existing dust boot with the automatic tool changer. So I'm working on a few designs and this one's a laser cut one, which is a lot faster to prototype. Um, it's laminated from a few pieces. They allow me to have this groove for this uh, piece of brush. I have uh, I have to get uh, obviously a longer longer brush set uh, with both longer bristles and a longer piece to completely go around this channel here. But it's a uh, it's a prototype, so we'll see how it works. But the most important thing is whether or not this will work around the tool changer as the system is making tool changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this. Right now, it's just fits like this and the spindle fits into it as normally into its slot. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and keep it loose since I'm not gonna actually run it just go through the motions of making a tool change. You know, insert, insert the hose. Then we're gonna come go to UCC and C, and let's go ahead and home it. So right now, the tool changer has tool number two from the rack, which is an eighth inch bit. And I'm going to swap it out with tool number one to see how the dust boot works around the tool changer rack. So for that, I'm going to use M3. And I'm just going to tell it to switch from tool number two to tool number one. I'm going to watch it do its thing here. It's going to put back Tool number two. Now it's gonna to grab tool number one. So, so far it's clearing the tool rack. And it's gotten tool number one. So I'm gonna uh, let it do its thing. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it back to to that spot just so we can take a look at the fit here. Let's bring it down roughly Oops. Roughly to about there, which is where it would come into the tool rack. So the way I'm designing this right now is I want to try to at least get the bristles around, even if it doesn't completely encompass the um, the assembly here. It'll capture a lot more dust than it is now without a dust boot. So like I said, this is a temporary solution. until the official dust boot becomes available. 